Juan's all prepared with his Simba beanie. And he's also going to be recording on his channel, too. So, yeah. Should be a fun day. There's not going to be that many rides open, but hopefully we can go on most of them like twice. And probably go on the safari to see some of the animals there. Are you guys heading out? Pandora? Pandora? Maybe. Just check out the, the drinks they have there. Hopefully they have that lemonade that we wanted. Oh yeah. We'll try that. Oh, that's yeah. a big session set. Daniel and USA, we're gonna go ride Dinosaur. I love that ride. I like that ride too. It's basically Indiana Jones but with dinosaurs. Oh yeah, and they're sh they showed up. Oh yeah, they did. <laughs> a little late. <laughs> Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, that's <laughs> Yeah, there he goes. He was in shock. He was in shock. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about you, handsome. <laughs> so cool. And now he's gonna go to sleep because that's all his movie. He's gonna do for dinner. Uh -huh. mm. so, he's so cute. Yeah. yeah. He is cute. You gotta remember, he is an apex predator. So I always tell him he's my favorite apex predator. Yeah. <laughs> He's a big ass mouth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Imagine. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. His favorite. Uh -huh. This one's based off the movie. Look, I got one of those. I can't believe I just bought a six. You got one of those? Yeah, I have the Simba one, I have the Tamana and Pumba, but mm -hmm. I lost them in the room. <laughs> so since this movie, since this ride was based off the movie, fun fact. Back then, this ride was actually called Countdown to Extinction. Well, originally it was called Countdown to Extinction, and then when the movie came out, they changed it to Dinosaur to make it based off the movie. All right, let's go. Other rides are closed. In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. 
Oh. Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me, and let's talk about you, and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I, love that I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tours are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Access denied. Continue. Access denied. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in. Use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal, and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the Iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom! You're back with one additional passenger extra large. <laughs> and don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? <laughs> hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going... Incoming! Asteroid impact in 60 seconds. We 
can't stop now. Keep going, keep going. Comsock Nathus. Computer, what's happening? Loss of traction. That's it! Abort mission! Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. I believe so. Okay. Hopefully, the ride's not the line's not too long for that ride. It was at 35 now, and then changed wow. to like 45. So, let's just see how it is. Oh, there's one! It's like all the way back there. They're hiding in the water. 
they were talking to them, they just... Those are very nice. They are like, how do we escape these homes? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to bleep that out. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you. It's because you're always recording. You're forgetting. Yeah. Gotta get everything. The, the ride went up to 55 minutes. All right, let's go. It's going to die down. Can. There's monkeys up there. Now we're going on the Cali Rip. Uh, so tired out of breath. Going on the Cali Rapids ride. I've never been on it. My brother like it. Should be fun for me. I like rapid rides. I went on it in August. It's actually pretty cool, but you don't really get. So, so yeah, you only get spread. Okay. Not too bad. Because I don't really remember much of it. But I know it was pretty fast. But I don't remember if you get as wet as you do like in not very farm rapid ride or either um grizzly river, grizzly river run. run yeah i mean however it is i'm fine with it but it's nice ride i like it it's cold. and it's cold <laughs> yeah. i think there's like a big old splash in the end but it didn't really splash you well, that's okay yeah <laughs> and you must wear shoes must wear shoes they got their trucks in there. Who's she wearing socks with sandals? What is that? What are those? What are those? I don't know. No, you don't remember the what are those memes? I do, it's from mine. Well, that's what I'm saying. What are those? You're like, expl you're like explaining where they are. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm a very slow person, so I'm very sorry. And plus, I am extremely sleepy. I don't know. Like normally, I will sleep only for like an hour or two, and I'll be wide awake and so energetic. But when I'm here in Florida, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Stop, wait. <laughs> Ready to get soaked? Oh, this was a mistake. Are we gonna get soaked? Yeah.
vlog the last time and I recorded most of it, but the battery's about to die, so. Well, if you go with, your report had to go with. It's like this. Oh, wait, what? Did you pick the bus? Now? Right now? Oh, she can't breathe. as well but it's funny like like one side of my pants got wet and my hair got wet kind of and then part of my jacket but I'm I'm all good though it was fun I, I enjoyed it so 
we're gonna try, hopefully, to make it to see the Kite Tail show. I'm 35.15, so probably not. Well, I mean, we can probably see it from afar, though. Like a little glimpse of it? Yeah. And then come back the next time and then just watch it. Yeah. See how it looks. Exactly. We're just someone making it. Doing it right over there.
which is closed while we're here. So know this ride today or this trip. Yes. Okay. Maybe next trip. It's a really, really fun ride. I know, it's one of my favorites. What's the to we're going to? When's the that store? So guys, I'm ordering food. I'm getting the baked macaroni and cheese with cold pork, but with no coleslaw because coleslaw is disgusting. Hopefully we'll be ready because then we gotta head over to Pandora and get on flight of passage before the park closes because they close in like um, 45 minutes. Just need to put the tray away, get take the food, get a fork, be all set. And then we'll have to wait for Genesis to get her ice. Cream. All right, guys, it's the last night of the right. I mean, last ride of the night. Ooh, perfect. walking. We're in Pandora. We're going to go on flight of passage.
So you don't have to wait, wait in the line. Wait, there's a bigger one. That's chicken. Can I get this quarter? Oh, there's a quarter in there. A quarter? Yeah. Someone slid it in. Oh, I can't get it. It's actually going down to the way of the light. Oh, they're just hanging ew on their nails. And then a quarter. Another quarter. Why would they push their nail under that? Another quarter. Maybe they were trying to get the quarter and they broke their nail. Another penny. What is with people leaving change? This lab is rich. This lab is rich. chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar, and I'm here to help you guys get ready. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran microparasites. Alright everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. It You've all got them. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stay still over your number, you're not gonna feel a thing. You're doing great. Almost done here. They're all clear. Great. Now let's go over how all this works. Like I said before, you're going to be matched to these things called avatars, which look a lot like the Na'vi. They're created by blending human DNA and Na'vi DNA. Once we match you to an avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that avatar. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads our science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their environment. Over a generation ago, this enormous company called the RDA created a lot of damage to the area through their bad mining practices and conflicts with the Na'vi. Just like on Earth, it can take decades for ecosystems to recover. One way to understand what's going on with an ecosystem is to study what are called keystone species. These are animals like tigers, jaguars, seals. The banshee is one of these important animals. Dr. Ogden is the foremost expert on studying the Ikron and has spent years researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Na'vi and avatars can. In fact, the Na'vi have been riding on the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. That's why you're linking to an avatar. It was Dr. Ogden who restarted the Avatar program. It's because of her that you're able to go through this rite of passage today. Pandora is a breathtaking natural world. I cannot wait for you guys to see it for yourselves. So, let's get ready for our next... 
Huh? Hmm. I'll be right back. Put the standby system on, quickly. Standby. We are looking into delays with the genetic matching system. with avatars. Uh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, when the door opens, please go inside, all the way in, and stand over the same number that you're standing over now. And, uh, and I'll see you in there. Please go to your 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 gonna do it for this video for day three. I will see you guys on day four. Bye! Bye!